So sit down and buckle up for this next one. This gets pretty ugly. USA Today reports the following. A federal judge on Monday blocked a Trump administration regulation that aimed to reduce prescription drug prices. The administration does not have the authority to require drug makers include their prices in television ads. U.S. District Judge Amit Mehta ruled in Washington, D.C. While President Donald Trump vowed to lower pharma prices last year amid public outcry, the judge's ruling came one day before the disclosure rule was set to go into effect. Drug makers fought the rule with a lawsuit in June, quote, No matter how vexing the problem of spiraling drug costs may be, Health and Human Services cannot do more than what Congress has authorized, Meta wrote. The responsibility rests with Congress to act in the first place. In the first instance, I should say. Meta did not share drug makers' argument that a disclosure requirement violates companies' First Amendment rights of free speech. Instead, he noted the policy could be effective in controlling rising prescription drug costs. Okay, so basically what he's saying there is it's not unconstitutional to require pharmaceutical companies to put their prices in every ad, but it would need to go through Congress first in order to do it. Here's why that argument is total bullshit. We have regulatory agencies. We have executive agencies that are regulatory agencies. That's the whole point of these agencies. Now, spending bills have to go through Congress. I mean, that's clear. That's in the Constitution. And that's the way it's always worked. This is not a spending bill. This idea very clearly does not involve the federal government spending any money. It requires forcing pharmaceutical companies to add the prices to their ads. So this is like... Basic Regulation 101, and this argument from Amit Mehta is total horseshit. And guess what? This is an Obama-appointed judge, and he struck down this Trump administration rule, which is one of the only good things the Trump administration has ever done, and it got slapped down. Are you kidding me? Now, let's be clear here. This plan from Trump, this is not a cure-all. This isn't the end-all, be-all. He might act like it was the end-all, be-all, but that's because he's a ridiculous person, and he's also very kind to the to the uh, big pharma companies. But yeah, this rule, certainly better than nothing, and the philosophy behind it is, if you force these insurance companies, not insurance companies, excuse me, these pharmaceutical companies to put their prices up with their ads, well, what's going to happen? It's going to be embarrassing for them to put what are you going to do? You're going to write fucking $10,000 for these pills that you're trying to hawk to people? Nonsense. It's it, it would make it so that people realize that, oh my god, this pharmaceutical crisis where they're price gouging the shit out of us, this isn't just in people's heads, this is real. Because then you make it clear to everybody in the country, not just the people who are taking the drugs. Everybody in the country knows, like, oh, this is a real big problem. So the idea behind it is it will certainly force prices down at least a little bit. And I do think that, that there is some truth to that. With that extra transparency does come a lot more responsibility and accountability. And because it would shock the conscience for a lot of people. So this plan that would work, they slap it down on bogus on a bogus pretense here. I mean, really? That's going to be your argument? Your argument is, oh, Congress has to pass it. It's got nothing to do with spending. This is basic regulation. It, no, this rule, of course, can go into effect. So this is embarrassing, and this is terrible, and, I mean, you're not supposed to say stuff like this, but I'm going to say it any but anyway. Judge Amit Mehta, people should dig into his, um, whatever his investments might be, whoever he, um, you know, hobnobs with at the country club, because I have a sneaking suspicion that this dude has people, friends in high places in the pharma companies, and he's really just doing them a favor. Because I think he knows, especially if it's an Obama-appointed judge, he's smart enough to know that the argument he used here is total bullshit. Um, but he used it anyway. Which makes me think there's some foul play at work here. So, really, really sad. One of the very few things Trump did that's good, and an Obama judge smacks it down. So the pharmaceutical companies win yet again.